and here's what I like to call the unmatched power of the sun. As you can see, the ship stands no chance. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Floating Sandbox and I'm continuing the Build-A-Ship series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, a link will be in the top right corner. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to make a video last week due to some scheduling issues. But we are here now and we're going to be doing a lot more than what we would do in previous episodes to catch up on some of your comments. Now, as always, you guys drive this series, so your comments are essential to keep it going, and we're going to go through some of the comments right now. Now, there were two big things people wanted to see, cabins and also cargo. So, we're going to be adding some cabins in today and also putting in some cargo into the cargo rooms. Now, here are the comments that suggested it, so thank you to those that did suggest it. Now, the next thing people suggested was a mail room, so we'll be building that probably near the cargo area. And once again, thank you for those commenters that suggested that. And then we're going to be building three more things, or, well, two things and changing one thing. So we're going to be building a barber shop, so that'll be pretty fun. Then we're going to add a chain locker. This should be a pretty simple space right at the bow of the ship. And then we're going to change the fuel, so we'll make the ship a little more explosive. So, uh, yeah, thank you to those commenters that suggested that. So let's go ahead, let's hop into it, and, uh, start building. Alright, so here we are, it's good to be back, and we're gonna go ahead and start tackling the cargo spaces as, I don't know, we're just gonna take care of that first. So the one thing I'm going to do to start out is build a ladder or some sort of staircase to get down into the cargo area. And I do think a ladder will be able to get this job done, so I'll just build in one right there. We'll also build in one in the forward sections. Alright, there we are. And now we can actually build in the cargo, so we'll make some crates. Some very simplistic ones. All right, there we are. We've got some crates in now. And at this point, I can just use the copy and paste tool to uh, move the cargo into the other compartments. All right, so there we are. We've got the bottom portion of the cargo hold all built in. Now let's uh, add some more crates up on the upper levels of the cargo hold. Once again, simply using the copy and paste tool, pasting it in and then resizing the boxes. And you know what? I'll add in another ladder just here. Alright, so there we go, that looks complete. Now let's go ahead and let's build in the mailroom. And I think the mailroom would go good just above the compartment in front of the boiler room. So first I'm gonna build in some stairs, and then I'll add in the mail, which will be this uh, low-grade wood, and then I'll add a sorting table with a seat. So that there will be our mailroom. It is very simple, but it is uh, a crew space, so we're not gonna detail it completely. We're just going to give it the uh, bare bones minimum of what it needs for uh, operation, I guess. So, just sorting mail and collecting mail. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's build the chain locker. Now, we sort of already have it, and it is in this space here, and I guess all we have to do is add in some chains. And there we go. Now, we move on to the cabins. So, this is going to be a pretty big part of the build because the cabins take up a lot of the interior space. So let's go. We're going to use this light wood color here. Now I would imagine these would be suites, so multiple rooms for a cabin. And what I'll do is copy the cabin and just paste it. There we are, and now we have a hallway space in between. And now I can add in a door. There we go. Now let's go down a deck and work on some of the single room cabins. We're still going to use the same wall material. And I'll put in a small dresser there as well. So we'll just copy this and paste it in like that. And then we have space for another hallway just there. And now what I'm going to do is go all the way back here and start placing in some cabins. Alright, there we go. So we've got in some cabins there. We've got some cabins up forward. And then we can uh, reserve some other spaces for crew areas or just recreational spaces. But first we're going to make a couple crew cabins because of course we need the crew to sleep somewhere. So we'll build some in just down here. So we'll make a bunk bed there, and there we are. So now we've got our crew cabins and our passenger cabins. So now we're going to go ahead and build in a barbershop and change out the fuel, which would be the coal bunkers. So let's build in the barbershop somewhere by the grand staircase. So to do that, we're going to make a barbershop pole, which is basically just red and white, something like that. And then we'll have a glass entrance, and we will make the uh, color of the walls be the same as those in the cabins. There we go. Now we're going to build in some mirrors, because of course this is a barbershop. 
and then we're gonna build in the seats there we are and then we'll put some decorations on the ceiling all right so there we go now let's change out the fuel so it was suggested to make the fuel out of diesel so that's what we're doing there and there we are so now there's only one thing to do and that is to test it so let's imagine a fire has broken loose in the cargo hold so the fire is obviously spreading to other parts of the ship. And now look at this. We've got a gaping hole in the hull of the vessel, and that is just obviously not great. So far, the ship is holding strong because there is no entry of water at the moment. But the fire is still going. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a deck that just collapsed. There it goes. All right. So as the fire dies out, I think all it would take to sink the ship is simply to just open up the cargo hold, at least under the water line. And, uh, physics is gonna do the rest. The interesting thing is, is I'm really hearing the ship stress. I have turned down the in-game audio, but it is making a lot of concerning noises. Looks like the water is starting to spill up through the ventilation system into the interior spaces. Well, the main staircase is about to flood pretty quickly here. We're about to see water flood through the dome. There it is, cascading into the ship. And here we have the water spilling from one compartment into the next. So you can see that water flooded down the ventilation into the boiler room, flooded the boiler room, and now is flooding into the next boiler room, which will flood all of these sections here. So far, the ship is holding. It is going down, but it hasn't broken in two, so that's good. All right, it looks like it's starting to plunge now. And uh, that would be because most of these areas are empty space and they flood very quickly. Yep, there it goes. It just has no more buoyancy left to keep the front portion of the ship afloat. And uh, now it's going into a vertical position and then probably just gonna slowly slip under the waves. And there it goes. The ship is sinking under the waves and uh, yeah, it's gone. And here's what I like to call the unmatched power of the sun. As you can see, the ship stands no chance. Within seconds, it is uh, turned into molten metal. Now I'm gonna do one last thing here. I'm just going to melt the ship down real quick. And then I'm going to use the swirl tool. All right, there we go. Here comes the swirl tool and wow. Oh my gosh, wow. That is definitely something. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.